The thing that interested me the most about Harry is that he's deeply flawed. And when we meet him, there are a lot of things that we may not like about him. And trying to build a character like that is quite challenging because you're trying to get under their skin. Just make sure you do what's right, not what's British. The very fact that it felt kind of difficult and frightening was what drew me to it because I think ultimately you're always looking for a character that goes on a journey and when you meet someone who has so much to learn and is quite selfish and quite reckless um, you would think that uh, it gives them the opportunity to really grow and change and, and evolve over the course of the series and that kind of transformation and arc is really the really what you're looking for. I think the thing that's different about this telling of, of this time in history is Pete's ability uh, and, and mission to tell the story from different perspectives. The world has averted its eyes to the buildup of German troops along the German-Polish border and Hitler's threat to take Danzig by force. For me, growing up in, in England, we have at times a slightly binary telling of this story. It can be goodies versus baddies and heroes versus villains. And so in the case of, of this, we, we had the stories being told through the eyes of women and through different sexualities, different classes. Um, it's very international. And not only, as I say, is it important to represent all those voices and give a more well-rounded picture of what was going on at that time, but I, I, I just think it's, I, th I think, more compelling storytelling. Is he Jewish? Catholic. I thought it was the Jews who were in trouble. Why isn't he Jewish? Would you like me to go back and exchange him? I think it feels contemporary mainly because that is very much a, a stylistic trait of Peter's writing. Always driven by human relationship, it's always driven by the intimacy of, of people. So I, I think that, that makes for, as you say, a, a kind of contemporary feel to it. But I think what we're really seeing is just that we're connecting with these people as humans. And so that's, it feels relatable and that may well be why we feel contemporary. I love you. You say that. It doesn't really make any difference, does it? You're going. I'm not.